Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where I'm gonna show you the armor. So, we're just gonna show you the original, but I was messing with it. And this is the new shield harness we got. I really like the belt thing. It's really cool. I mean, I, I was like torn. I was like, ah, I mean, it kind of looks like her original one, which I really, really liked the design of. But I was like, ah. And I did notice, actually, after a minute, because I, I was like, why does her collar look so kind of like weird and different? But it's very different from the one we have been wearing has just been like straight up black and a little less popped you know but it is the most similar to the original n7 chest plate it's basically the n7 chest plate with like a belt so that's cool and then strength booth pads we're keeping yeah i mean we had like those but we don't really like on them so we have the off ammo offhand ammo pack which increases spare ammo capacity which is really nice um, but this increases our shield defense, and I really like the look of these too. It's like pretty, we got like some pretty intense black going on. And like, like, I don't know, like I like like the elbow thing. They look really cool. They look really, I don't know, they look cool. Um, and I like that, I like the way that the health webbing looks, or the life support webbing looks. But I'm like, almost like, oh, it's a little bit too much red at this point with the bell and so I was thinking I either might go back to these to the storm speed ones or go back to the original and seven greaves which increased shield strength by three percent so in total we would have a 13 percent increase in shields and I kind of like the way they look too to be honest like they seem like they go really well with the I like how like no matter what type of armor like different kinds of armor you use like different piece bits and pieces like it all goes together I think it was really the armor was really well designed it was all designed to fit well together um I'm torn oh look there's your butt um the storm speed one might be the most useful but I don't I don't storm speed a whole lot could just spam I might just spam shields for now but I really like it and I kind of like the collar look like it's growing on me it doesn't didn't take very long for it to grow on me so I'm not gonna feed you guys right now I'll feed you after the next mission but it's good to see you and we will actually go out and do Morden's mission woo the majority of this game is taken up with your friend's loyalty missions, which I kind of like. In Mass Effect 1, it's like about like the mission, you know, but in Mass Effect 2, because I think you only get like a loyalty mission for Rex and Garrus for sure. And there's kind of one for Tally that's kind of like hidden-ish, but... Okie dokie, let's do it. Let's go see Urs. Whoopa. Land. Land. Just do it. Land. I'm excited. Like, every, like whenever I played this game the past, like, month, I basically just sit down and try to get two... Two of my squad members' missions done. Takes a couple of hours, like an hour to two or two for each one, so it's a substantial investment. Um, right, bring Morden, and we're bringing Thane. Why? Because I feel like bringing the two skinniest looking guys I've got with me. Because I'm quite gray. Here we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, it looks good, Shepard. Except your eyes have kind of they rolled back into your head for a second. Let's see. Oh, will Char say anything new? What did I tell you? Hey, hey. Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that. Yeah, I guess. She's in a sorry, like of all places. Use weak encryption. I know. I see references to a captured Solarian and the loss of the chief scout. Urs! Urs, there, my boy! Hi, buddy! 
You can come with us? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I am like Dragon Age Origins all over again. Just a little bit teeny, teeny, tiny, teeny bit different. I'm pretty sure all Don't I have to anything. do is poke. Poke this. Poke this. Let me out. Let me out. A human killed the Thresher Mom. On foot? Always want more shock absorption. <laughs> the pits have been a bloodbath ever since. Can I leave now? What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. Oh yeah, I, I did that one, not the Solarian me. one. I'm looking for a Solarian. The blood pack captured him, and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Werelock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the Blood Pack. I just, uh, I just dealt with a Thresher Maw, man. Ain't nothing else worse than that. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I look I good with the collar. Torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. <laughs> it's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. That's a bit xenophobic. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. <laughs> if I was going to kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. Hey, I get that. What's Clan Werelock's reputation, and how are they involved? I look with the good in this armor. Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. <laughs> you ever run into the Blood Pack? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're like, Clan yeah. Clan Werelock started it. One oh. Of the gangs with an off-world presence. I didn't know Clan Werelock started fanatics, it. Totally devoted to Werelock gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. <laughs> I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Yeah. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. Ah, I see. Hmm. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. Yeah. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Yeah. We asked that, right? That makes Gold yeah. so special. He's got two children. Not me. I I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I would I thought that like to him. Luck. They could have more That's than one is. kid. Same I didn't realize just having one kid was that special, but like having two was like, Wah. but and then it is it, it shouldn't. It also doesn't mean the the infertility thing doesn't pick more boys than girls to survive. You know, it's not like having a girl. There's like an even chance of having a boy and a girl. I think. Uh. What can you tell me about Clan Werelock's base? Because I'm a blow it up! I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Werelock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Werelock's base is I got a big gun. Blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hold up Ah, there? good point, Shepard. Any hospital on Tachanka ah, has that's a, built that's well good point. to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. <laughs> Blood rage, they call it. Ah, so it has to not just withstand pressure from the outside, it has to be able to withstand enraged Krogan from the inside. All right. Oh, uh, I better go. Thanks for the information. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. Hey, you, can you know. take the truck over there. We're pretty cute for off-worlders, though. Uh, all right. I love how 
someone's taking a vehicle, Shepard just nods. She's like, she did that with the Asari on Alien when we took the cab over to Samara, too. Just goes, nod. 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 I like that the... I've said it before, but I like that the loading screens tend to... Correspond with whatever area you're in. Obviously, we're bringing Morden and we're bringing Thane. We're good. Look at those shocks, though. Each one, like, the axle isn't quite. It's not connected in the front. It's, like, connected up in the. Under, way up in the undercarriage. So each wheel can, like, move independently. At least in the front. I don't know. I can't see the back so well. Nice. Bane, like, looks like the most natural doing that. I love bringing him along. I love knowing that he's, like, got our backs. Like, I don't know. I love it. What's my gun I got right now? Yeah, I want that one on. Oh, sweet. Thank you. So did we take this or did, like, we get driven out here? I, feel, I felt like we got driven. Maybe not. Ooh. Okay, I know there's stuff to pick up out here, but I also know. Oh my gosh, we're just like running around on the surface of Tachanka. I feel like we should be wearing our helmets. I feel like. I feel like. Oh man, look at that 27 ammo. Good golly. I feel like we get. Yeah. <laughs> put your ammo on. I'll put mine on. over here. Shockwave was over here. Energy drain moved a bit too. Pretty sure charge stayed where... Oh no! Because... Okay. Med kit used to be over here. Charge was like right here. Interesting. Alright. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. situations are like having like a grayish reddish greenish area brownish hazy area very much makes sense because they're still dealing with a, the nuclear fallout oh I wonder if that's oh is that what I think it is that the thing that we encounter in Mass Effect 3 yeah oh. You bet I can't bring hers with me. Are you gonna blow up? Killed that one. that these places got like totally wrecked but oh it's a boom squad guy let's uh let's try and aim around if enjoy oh that worked did it work it worked perfect Trying to keep a better eye on my reloading. I'm also trying, I think I'm doing the reload trick where like I start to reload and then I like, I use an ability. The reload seems to happen fairly instantaneously. 
Come around the corner. Oh my gosh, did we just we just took that guy out. Too bad your guys' abilities are like oh shoot. Um sort of not biotic. They're not both biotic. Oh I got stuck. I got stuck! I got stuck! than mine though. Probably doesn't help balance issues. places. Taking one from one that got blown up. 
You two. You two. So you guys feel better. You took your little nap. You feeling all right? I brought Grunt all the time is he just did not die as much. He was dying a bunch last. It, it, freaking like he was the one dying the most. Garrus was doing great. Garrus usually dies a lot, but Grunt was like, just driving right into these guys. I was like, oh my gosh. brought the in on this one to be honest it was usually grunt that body human need to take a look sores tumors ligature showing restraint at wrists and ankles track marks for repeated injection sites test subject victim of experimentation I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was no tattoos or ID maybe slave or prisoner maybe merc or pirate irrelevant now Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects, genetically diverse, enables exploration of treatment modalities. Hmm. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting, unethical, sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Ah. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. Yeah. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule. Never broke it. Ah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I guess that's what the, that's what the, um, the person was saying uh, as like a... Uh, sort of a, a qualifier, like the Krogan are capable of calculus, you know? I don't usually take those extra options because I understand exactly what Morden is saying and why he's saying it, so it feels weird to be, like, a accusatory towards him. Um, but... Wouldn't something native to T'Chanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes, human experiments strictly high-level But I see now where that calculus test. comment comes Native from. Native Tuchanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. Mm. Well, because, like, usually humans is wrong. Well, duh, it is, but this is obviously a place that's not doing really ethical things. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands. Mm. Modifying hormone levels. Counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Yeah. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels. Could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Ah. I mean, it's amazing. Like, the propaganda that goes out about the genophage is that it's incurable, you know? And, like, that any attempt to try to cure it is impossible. But... From what Morden has said, like, in, even before, is, like, obviously they were adapting to it. They are incredible. Krogan are incredible. Incredibly adaptable. I mean, the Corians are apparently too. At least they used to be, but now they they are not so much. Like, but they weren't as adaptable in the same way, you know. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Yep. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. See, and this that irks me is like, no, it's not of differing appearances. That's stupid. Like. Race is not a physical, like, a physical, like, visual trait. Like, there's no such thing as, like, different races of humans. Like, that is a societal projection of an idea. There's more genetic variability within, like, say, Caucasian groups of people than there is between, like, Caucasian and African people. Like, but we're gonna do this because for completion's sake, even though it annoys me. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. Not skin tone! No. Ignore superficial appearance down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. 
I think it has something to do with, like, according to the science in, in the game and in real life and everything, um, humans are the most recent on the field. So they haven't had as much time to just, like, um, like, in the future, they say, like, eventually with globalization, like, the human genetic code is going to get less variable. We're all going to kind of, event way down the line, you know, you're going to start kind of every gonna kind of start looking the same you know type thing so like if humans just keep and they, and they kind of mention it in this game that like there's like there's interesting racial mixtures because it doesn't really matter any like racial you know societal whatever construction but it's a convenient term um but uh it, there, it, the, it mentions in one of the codex entries that genetic diversity while still a thing uh, people are intermarrying in their cultural and racial groups a lot more. Um, and so the diversity is kind of starting to not be as diverse. <laughs> I don't know. And, like, some people want to keep, you know, like, like certain genetic traits and whatever and societies and cultures alive. And so they marry within their own groups, you know, which is fine. I, I think that that's fine. Uh, I don't think it's okay to be, like, you know freaked out about inner group marryings, you know, like like, dif like different people from different groups marrying. But if you want to, like, keep certain traditions and, like, I don't know, bloodlines alive, I guess all the more power to you. I don't know. But that can get bad, you know, but but, yeah, so I guess because humans are the newest on the field in this scenario with all the aliens, they've had a much longer time span to, like, be globalized and then, like, galacticized and, like, the groups marrying, like, the group inter groups are all marrying together so that genetic diversity is less. It just all gets mixed together in this giant melting pot to where all these traits are just, like, bloop, all, all together. It's not, like, so, like, you don't have, like, the various group out, like, groups grouping up anymore. You know what I mean? But humans still have that, so they have that genetic diversity that other species don't in this scenario. That's- I just need to shut up. I just need to shut up. <laughs> Talking too much. Uh, stopping this. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. Hmm. And he makes a good point. Like, it's not- there's no- in many ways there's no point in mourning somebody who's already dead that you didn't even know. Because Slayers are a short-lived species, you know? They can't- they can't spend, like, all this time, years, mourning something because they- they'll be dead in a few years, too, you know? They have to- they have to live while they can. And Morden's a scientist, like... He knows, like, it's better to just deal with what's going on in the moment, you know? And I- I respect that. I like that. I understand- I understand that. So it may seem harsh and gruff to us, but he's coming from a completely different cultural mindset. Favor renegade action's coming! I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should uh, be dead already. Oh, I only killed one But Werelock Gold, the chief of chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. Look what I've done so far. Krogan don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. Yeah? You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Werelock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the Genophage! And Clan Werelock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood! And this is why... It appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. This is why, in many ways, I think the genophage was a good idea because if you cure it, you're gonna get guys like this freaking trying to spread across the stars and destroy everything they come across, consuming worlds, you know? It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wrong. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge. They were wronged. Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, 
we will not need support. When we cure the genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will become... You talk too much. <laughs> See? A human cannot hit a simple target. <laughs> yes! Slightly horrible, but... The blood pack. I will tell you why that is the only one I ever did. The only renegade action I ever took, and it's because they give you a hint as to what it's going to do. The guys talking or ambling about how they're gonna destroy the worlds and the galaxies and whatever, but it pans over to this like explosive looking sign on a pipe, and you're like, oh, I see what you're putting down there. And then Shepard's face on that is awesome! That's why I like I wish more Paragon Renegade actions gave you tried to give you an idea, especially the Renegade ones, gave you an idea of what they were gonna do. You know? Like by like zooming in on something like they did there. Like that's the only reason I ever did that one. Because I knew what it was gonna do. I got plus more paragon. Where's my renegade? I took a renegade action. Where am I renegade? that one it was my favorite because it was the only one i ever did but it's just it's a good one the next snapping one though that's pretty intense but this that one i like that one a lot it's classy i think it's classy i don't know it's like the classic like blowing up the freaking gas tank and i don't know it just feels funny i like it just it's good it's, it's you talk too much i love it i love it Cause it's not just like, oh, he's talking Labs a lot. Through there. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Ooh. It's the fact that what he's saying is stuff that she doesn't want to hear anymore. You know what I mean? Freaking, they use some heavy ordnance in here. <laughs> <laughs> 